So, castle dice in a really big box. Is it the necessary size of the box? I don't know. It plays from uh, one to four players. I haven't played the solo version because I just don't play games solo. <laughs> I like the social aspect of the games. It's uh, definitely a family style game uh, with uh, less interaction. But let's see how it works. Well, I'll just go briefly through the game. Uh, here we have some of the dice. Uh, resource dice that we use in this game. There are a total of 64 custom dice in this game. This is the main board uh, that you will track turns on and you will just look at the pre-required dice there. Here we have the player board. You will mark all, all your animals, goods. You will look at the turn order. Uh, here we have character cards. Uh, some special cards that you will draw on special occasions and building cards and what you're gonna basically do in this game uh, you wanna build those building cards because they give you points and there are some minor like there's some few points from the other bonuses but mostly these are the cards the building cards that give you points and you're gonna do that by first of all uh, drawing some more cards, refreshing your hands, then uh, taking dice that are written here. For example, on the first turn, everyone will get two wood dice, two stone dice, one gold, and two random dice. So for example, I'll take those dice. So I have here two wood, two stone, one gold, and I'll take just one iron and one land die. Uh, we will also have a bunch of cards in our hand. We have a hand size limit of five cards. Uh, we can throw away cards from previous turn to to uh, get more new cards. So you, the the first one is uh, the first phase is to determine who goes first. Whoever has most horses, animals will go first. Then we'll uh, choose and draw cards. Uh, but you have to tell from what deck you will choose your cards. So, for example, I don't have any cards in my hand right now. So I, I have a limit of five cards. So I'll, tell, I'll take three cards from the character deck and two cards from the castle deck. I can tell I take one from the character and four from the, from the castle, I mean building deck. So you'll just say that and then you're going to draw those cards. And everyone will do that. Uh, whoever has most chicken will uh, get plus one to the hand size. Uh, then you're gonna pick those dice and you're gonna throw them. All the barbarians that you have here will uh, will be transferred onto your player board. Everything else will be transferred at the center of the table. Uh, barbarians will uh, uh, will negate some of your resources at the end of the turn. After you have formed the dice world, so everyone has thrown out their dice, uh, had put their barbarians on their player boards, you will start drafting dice. So you start with. Uh, for example, I have the first player, so I'll start. I'll take two wood. So just more than I have now, two wood over here, and so on. I will start drafting that. There are some cards that affect the dice and drafting and everything. So you can draft two dice at once, or you can uh, re-roll your barbarian dice into the world. After you have gathered all the dice and all the resources, for example, uh, you will go. To market and if you have a set of four animals you can sell it for those special cards those special cards give you different special abilities like real this card at the end of the game it gives you one victory point so just the victory point card or play before your first gather choose one type of animal all other players give you all of that animal type they have so some nasty cards down here and after you uh, have gone to the market, everyone had a chance to buy something. Oh, and uh, on a third, fifth 
and seventh turn if you have those sets of animals you have to sell them those sets of animals uh, or those animals separately give you those bonuses like hand size limit uh, you go first pork chop means that you can turn your die to any result and so on so uh, then you look at uh, the next phase there is the worker pr produce merchants work and then the build uh, workers produce is that if you build a character uh, that's a worker uh, then you're gonna put uh, the token you you have to uh, you have to start from from the from uh, upper resources and then you can build up to to the iron here those those workers with this uh, with those guards you don't have to do that the guards guard you from the barbarians so and what you're gonna do basically is you're gonna produce one more good per worker you have here you can have only one worker in each resource here then the merchants work uh, merchants they uh, they love to sell goods to gain more money so and what that means that you can sell a good that is one level lower to get the good that is one level higher so I will sell my one gold to get a more expensive resource like landmine one higher and uh, it depends on how many merchants you have, maximum free. There are also farmers that have special abilities, I'm gonna talk about them right now. And then you will build. So you will uh, you have you can build all the cards in your hands. So there are many different cards over here. As you see, soldiers uh, make you re-roll the barbarian dice on your there's the wise grandfather that makes you pick two dice. The guard that guards you from the barbarians and so on. Uh, these are some special cards over here. Wall. And there are some building cards, so you can build those. Of course, no, no, these are some of the... So, for example, you get two victory points at the end of the game. It has resources written here. For example, you have to have three wood, two stone two gold and two iron to build that card it gives you a special ability here and the game ends after the seventh turn and whoever has the most points is gonna get the trophy you have the castle dice and I will first comment on a box size the box size is unnecessary because uh, the insert that you have is uh, like a no half of the box and the other half is just emptiness. Even if you buy that expansion, I, I don't know if it, it didn't come out yet, but it will come out soon. Well, I think buy the expansion because it sounds great. Uh, even if you fit the expansion in, uh, it doesn't really matter. The box is still too much for, <laughs> for how many components there are inside this box. But anyway, all right. Uh, I, I don't know what, what to say about the box. Uh, the game itself is, yeah, it's definitely a family style game. It has a little interaction, it has um, uh, like, the mo it has a lot of uh, luck involved also, uh, but in some unique ways. So it's, it's a really unique game for me. At least it, it came out 2012, so we played it first uh, 2014 in summer. Um, and we liked it. It's like a medium weight game uh, with, uh, with dice, with the custom dice. <laughs> Who doesn't love the custom dice? Um, what, what's great about this game is uh, you're, you're throwing dice and then you're drafting dice. So on the dice have different uh, sides with uh, animals or resources and even if you didn't have luck with your dice, you'll still put them in the center and maybe somebody had some luck and you still have to choose, like, you, you still can choose from all the resources that were uh, thrown this round. Uh, there can be a bit of a luck with barbarians, but barbarians doesn't seem to be a big annoyance 
to anyone. They're like, oh meh, whatever. And if you have a soldier card, you can play a soldier card and re-roll your variants in time. And you have so many options. Um, this workers and merchant and farmer idea is, uh, is really good. That you're like, you have extra options how to manipulate uh, your resources with merchants and how to manipulate your animals with farmer and the worker gives you one more it's all about mathematics you, you have to think uh, about the next turn all right so i will have those resources i can build that much with those resources so you have to maximize uh, your uh, like you can have to build the maximum that you can each turn. Uh, yeah, if you have guards, you can uh, leave some resources that are like iron or land that are more expensive resources. You can leave them for the next round if you have guards in them. So to be sure that the barbarians won't, won't take them away. Uh, the anim those animals, like uh, yeah, uh, what I didn't really like is um, everything is on the your player board, you have everything on your player board, you can, you have numbers but with those horses and uh, pigs and those animals you have to take the separate chips and always put them somewhere, right? it's, it's a bit annoying uh, but I heard the expansion, yeah, yeah, you still have those but I heard the expansion has those tokens, so now I have a token in front of me, the horse token, so I have most horses right now so it's great uh, it has some fun uh, involved with uh, with yeah, rolling the dice, and it has some luck involved with uh, also yeah rolling dice. But yeah, as I already told you, everyone rolls the, uh, some dice, and you're definitely gonna get that resource. Or there's a little chance that nobody will uh, will throw in some wood, you know. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of uh, luck involved with the cards that you get so in, when your round starts you're announcing all right I'll take uh, two cards of, of the castle deck and two cards of the persona deck and you're gonna you're gonna get them and if you won't get <laughs> the right buildings you know uh, you, you get two buildings that are really expensive buildings uh, yeah you can keep up and do something but you still you don't, you don't have cards and then you will throw some barbarians or you really need some workers but you don't get those workers right now and it has a lot of that luck involved but it doesn't matter for me at all uh, the artwork of the uh, on the boxes see here and on the cards it's like a chibi style um, I'm playing with Alina always and uh, she doesn't like that style, I, I'm alright with that. I normally read manga and everything so I'm alright with just this Japanese style. And uh, I don't know, it's just a great game from families. And uh, I don't know, you, everyone has to try it. It's, it's unique, it's unique. But maybe you, you want to make your custom box so it will not take a lot of space on your shelf. So, I will give this game a hug. Will you?